first stage propellant tanks have been pressurized. Now past the one minute mark and we are going on internal power. Now all systems to internal power. We'll be looking for the engine start sequence at the 8.9 second mark in the countdown. The engines will build up to a thrust of 7.6 million pounds. T minus 30 seconds. We have a cutoff. We have a cutoff at T minus 30 seconds. We're standing by at T minus 30 second mark. We'll bring word to you uh, just as soon as we get it. We have a cutoff at T minus 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds and holding. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're holding at the 30 second mark. This was an automatic cutoff, cut off by the terminal sequencer. As mentioned, this sequencer initiates various actions. Each action must take place and must be completed before the next one can be initiated. If anything does not get completed in time, there will be an automatic cutoff. This cutoff was automatic, done by the sequencer. We're standing by now to check just what the problem was. Now, T minus 30 seconds and holding. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're continuing our hold at the T minus 30 second mark as the launch team assesses our problem. At this time, swing arm number nine is going back uh, to the 12 degree park position. This is in a position about uh, 15 to 20 feet from the spacecraft. All safing procedures have uh, proceeded normally. We're continuing our hold while we assess the problem at T minus 30 seconds. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. The swing arm number nine is now back to that retract uh, position at the 12 degree position. Point out that the window we have tonight extends to 1.31 a.m. So we have some time here to assess the problem uh, and then continue, recycle and continue our countdown. We're continuing to hold at the 30 second mark at this time. T minus 30 seconds and holding. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're continuing our hold at the 30 second mark. We'll recycle to the T minus 22 minute mark. The T minus 22 minute mark is uh, chosen as the recycling point because this is a point where we start the chill down, as was mentioned during that point in the countdown. We start the chill down of the second and third stages to prepare them for the influx of the liquid hydrogen, the cold liquid hydrogen, and the cold liquid oxygen. Continuing to look at the data here to see exactly what happened. There is no indication of ignition. Ignition was scheduled to come at the 8.9 second. We're continuing to evaluate all the data at this time as we hold at the T minus 30 second mark. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're continuing to stand by at the T minus 22 minute mark. We've been given the word here in the firing room now that the count will be resumed at 11 p.m. at T minus 22 minutes. At this time, there has still not been a resolution to the problem. To uh, reiterate what the problem was, the terminal countdown sequencer failed to give the command to pressurize the third stage liquid oxygen tanks. Uh, there are several possible workarounds to this. They're being looked into at this time, and we plan to resume our countdown at the T minus 22 minute mark at 11 p.m. Now holding at T minus 22 minutes, this is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're at T minus 21 minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The countdown picked up. The uh, launch team here made a quick check of the various elements, all reporting into the test supervisor, uh, Bill Schick, indicating that they were ready to resume the count. Now T minus 20 minutes, 42 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're now holding at the eight minute mark as planned. The crew feels that they have a that they have a workaround to the problem, working around the indication going to the terminal sequencer that the tank has not been pressurized when actually it had been done manually. Now T minus eight minutes and holding. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're continuing to hold at the T minus eight minute mark. Meantime, the crew is getting a variety of updates in the uh, spacecraft, updating them on various aspects and the changes to their mission due to this whole period. Also at the Manned Spacecraft Center, they're continuing uh, to update the flight azimuth as uh, they get new times for the launch. Now, continuing our hold at the T-minus eight-minute mark, this is Kennedy Test Control. 
This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're continuing in our hold period at this time. Test Supervisor Bill Schick just announced here in the firing room that the hold is expected to last approximately 20 more minutes. Countdown continuing in the hold. T-minus eight minutes in holding. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're now resuming the count. T-minus seven minutes, 54 seconds, and counting. The flight director just ran through the, uh, his team a, a status report from his team at the Mission Control Center. Uh, that team all reported they are in a go condition. Now T-minus 7 minutes, 20 seconds, and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. All propellants now aboard the second stage pressurize as we approach the one-minute mark in the countdown. Mark T-minus 1 minute and counting. Now in the final minute of the countdown. And Gene Cernan made that final guidance alignment. That's the last action taken by the crew aboard the space vehicle. 10, 9, 8, 7. Ignition sequence started. All engines are started. We have ignition. 2, 1, 0. We have a liftoff. We have a liftoff and it's lighting up the area. It's just like daylight here at Kennedy Space Center as the Saturn V is moving off the pad. It is now clear of the tower. Roger, Gino, looking great. The rest of all five inches. Okay, babe, it's looking good here. Roll is complete. We are, Pitchy. This is Mission Control, Gene Cernan reporting uh, the launch vehicle, maneuvering to the proper attitude. Everything looking good at this point. 17 is go. Roger, 17, you're go. First stage looks good. Altitude 1.1 miles. Booster says we look good. We're now at 2.5 miles. Mark, mode one, bravo. Roger, one, bravo, we're going one minute. Roger, Gene, you're looking great, right on the line. Everybody says looking great, right on the line. We're now one mile downrange, launch vehicle 4.2 miles high. Stand by for mode one, Charlie, 17. Mark, mode one, Charlie. And the flight dynamics officer says we look good on all sources, uh, right on the trajectory. Flight director Gene Kranz taking a status for staging. We say we look good for staging. Roger, we're going here. Inboard cut off. Roger, inboard. Inboard engine shutting down on time as planned. Coming up on first stage shutdown. And we've had shutdown on time on the first stage. Five. Roger, they're looking here, looking good. Sure felt like it. I think we saw them all from here. Roger, Jack, and the thrust is going, all five of them, they're running good. Okay, three minutes in, we're go. Roger, 17. Okay, we do have skirt step. Roger, we confirm skirt step. There goes the tower. Ah, there she goes. Roger the tower, you're mode two. Roger, mode two. The steering has converged and CMC is go. You're going right down the pike, 17. Let me tell you, this night launch is something to behold. We've seen it all, ignition, uh, staging, and tower. Roger, got you. Okay, four minutes and we're go here, Bob. Roger, Gene. We're going around the room. Look, go here. You're looking real good, Gene. Right down the line. Okay, 4.30 and we're still going on board. Roger, 17. You're go.